Another round of testimony on Capitol Hill as lawmakers investigate the deadly January 6th riot at the U.S. Capitol building. The second public hearing focused on former President Trump's false claims of voter fraud during the 2020 election, including testimony from those closest to him. News 6's Mark Lehman joins us from the newsroom this morning. Mark, former President Trump has responded, issuing a lengthy statement. Through his Save America PAC, the former president sent out a 12-page response to yesterday's hearing. He continued false claims of winning the 2020 election the committee saying it's those kinds of remarks that led to the January 6th riot. The second public hearing from the House Select Committee included a slew of video testimony from the former president's inner circle, including his campaign manager. I didn't think what was happening was necessarily honest or professional at that point in time. Testimony from former Attorney General Bill Barr adding to an argument that then-President Trump was laying the groundwork for an unfounded claim that the election was stolen. Well, the early claims uh, that I understood on, uh, were, were completely bogus and silly and usually based on complete misinformation. The committee also says he cast aside his legal team when they told him he lost, instead bringing in advisors who pushed a conspiracy theory that voting machines were rigged. What they were proposing I thought was nuts. And the theory was also completely nuts. Using those remarks, the committee says Mr. Trump was responsible for the Capitol riot. The former president, meanwhile, issued a lengthy statement calling the hearings a distraction, saying in part, people are desperate. Rather than solving problems, Democrats are rehashing history in hopes of changing the narrative. The committee also says the Trump campaign knowingly misled donors for an election defense fund, but it said they say most of that money went to Mr. Trump's political organization. The committee expects to hold at least five more hearings with the next tomorrow at 10 a.m. Live in the newsroom, Mark Lehman getting results, News 6.